Peggy 16. Hi everyone, and welcome to the latest European Nintendo Direct. Today I'm going to update you on our upcoming games for Nintendo 3DS and Nintendo 3DS XL from my Frankfurt office. First, we are going to take a look at a game from a very popular series. The Paper Mario games have been around for many years. In fact, the first ever title in the series came out for Nintendo 64. The latest game, Paper Mario Sticker Star on Nintendo 3DS, is cramped with features and characters you will know from other Mario titles. However, with these games, there is a twist. The characters and the parts of the world are paper thin. Mario has to set off on a great adventure, and you can guess from the subtitle that this time around, you are going to find a lot of stickers on the way. Everywhere Mario travels, he can peel off and collect stickers with special powers. You can use the stickers in battle and to solve puzzles. You can also make your own stickers from items that you find around the world on your adventure. Today I'd like to show you a few new gameplay details that I think a lot of fun. Let's start by looking at this new cutscene from the game. On top of all that, there are lots of fun new attacks that you can use in the heat of battle, like drawing a pin and goat attacks. I can confirm today that Paper Mario will be in shops in Europe on December 7th, so not long to wait. I also wanted to update you briefly on two other Nintendo 3DS games out next year. First, don't forget that other moustached hero with Luigi's Mansion 2, which will be coming out in the first quarter of next year in Europe. It's sure to be a real scream. The other game I wanted to mention briefly is Fire Emblem for Nintendo 3DS, which I can confirm today will be available in Europe in the second quarter of 2013. Now let's turn to Pokemon. In Pokemon Black version 2 and Pokemon White version 2, you return to the Unova region. But things have changed since you were last there, as it's now two years later. From the start of the game, you can encounter around 300 Pokemon, compared to 150 in the first Pokemon Black version and Pokemon White version games. You will begin in Espelsia City and will encounter new locations new gym leaders, and new Pokémon forms on your adventure. Pokémon Black version 2 and the Pokémon White version 2 will come out in Europe on October 12th. On the same day, we will also launch Pokémon Dream Raider, a fun augmented reality application that you can download to your Nintendo 3DS or Nintendo 3DS XL. This title lets players catch Pokémon and get items using the augmented reality technology and the motion controls of Nintendo 3DS. And what's more, you can transfer any Pokémon or items you get to your Pokémon Black version 2 and Pokémon White version 2 games. Pokémon Dream Raider comes out on October 12th in Europe, only on Nintendo eShop. You can do lots of other interesting things with augmented reality as you can see from my friend here. Pikachu here can be found in the other Nintendo 3DS application I wanted to highlight today, Pokédex 3D Pro, which will be available in Europe in November. Pokédex 3D Pro has information on more than 640 Pokémon from the entire history of the game series. As well as being a great reference tool it also includes a Pokémon challenge, a variety of quizzes to test your Pokémon knowledge. Do you think 
you know your stuff? Just so you can see what the quiz is like. Let's see if you know the answer to this question. You can find out the correct answer later in the presentation. A date for your diaries. Pokédex 3D Pro will be available from Nintendo eShop from November 8th. That reminds me, you've just got a few days left to get a very special mythical Pokémon called Keldeo for your Pokémon Black version and Pokémon White version games. From next week, you will also be able to receive Genesect for a limited period by a Nintendo Wi-Fi connection for your new Pokémon Black version 2 and Pokémon White version 2 games. And one final thing that Pokémon fans should look out for. We will be releasing a very limited edition new Nintendo 3DS XL later this year in Europe. And it will be a Pikachu Nintendo 3DS XL. It will only be available in limited quantities. So if you are a Pikachu fan, make sure you don't miss out. I also have a bit of news now on New Art Academy. You may remember we told you about some custom lessons you could receive from Nintendo in a previous Nintendo Direct. In the first lesson, the Goomba custom lesson, we will show you how to draw your very own Goomba, completely from scratch. The good news is we will be sending this lesson out via spot pass from today. So make sure you check the custom lesson section of your game when you receive the spot pass notification. Just make sure you go to the spot pass setting option in your game and turn on the spot pass option or you won't receive the notification. New Super Mario Bros. 2 has been in shops for a few weeks now and one of the big challenges is coin collection. If you are one of the people who have been trying to collect a million coins in New Super Mario Bros. 2, then pay close attention to this video. ゴールドリングを潜ると敵が金色になってコインを大量に獲得できるチャンスです。金色の敵を地面に足をつけずに連続で踏んだり。甲羅を投げて連続で倒したりすると、コンボが繋がります。このコンボは倒すごとに5枚、10枚、15枚、20枚、50枚と増えていき、連続で倒せば倒すほどたくさんのコインが稼げます。また別の場所から甲羅を持
Let's have a look at the results. Look out for Nintendo Presents New Style Boutique this November. Now I'm going to move on to downloadable games. We have some really great new titles to show you today that will be available from Nintendo eShop very soon. In December last year, we released the puzzle game Poolbox, which has been a popular download on Nintendo eShop. Now the hero of the game, Maro, is going on another adventure in our new title called Fall Box. As you might guess it from the name, the blocks now also fall into place, allowing for new gameplay and strategy. This time, you can view the puzzles from any angle and move the blocks around on the ground freely. In addition, Maro now collects birds instead of children. There are 140 new levels in the new games as well as 90 training levels. Don't forget, you can also create your own levels and save them as a QR code. Get ready to puzzle from November when four blocks hit Nintendo eShop. I'd also like to tell you that if you haven't picked up full blocks yet, now is a great time to do so. Directly after this presentation, we'll be starting a sale where you can download pull blocks at a reduced price. However, pull blocks is not the only deal we'll offer you in the next couple of weeks. For six weeks from October 4th, you can get a different titles each week in Nintendo eShop for less. After pull blocks, will be Colors 3D followed by Speed Through Pot Swords Puzzle. Keep an eye on Nintendo eShop to find out the other games and the price information. Next, let's look at Hana Samurai Art of the Sword. This is coming to Europe on October 11th and is the story of a young samurai who sets off on an adventure to save Princess Cherry Blossom. He must master the art of the sword and defeat a whole lot of enemies in this sword fighting action game. The important part of this game is to anticipate and dodge the enemy's attack. You will need to be precise with your skills, as simply swinging your weapon around won't work. Wait for an opening and strike with timing and precision. As well as the main adventure, you can take on survival and attack modes. Look out for this game on Nintendo eShop next week. You may have played Hydro Venture on WiiWare, which was released in 2010. Now we have a new game, Hydro Venture Spin Cycle, made exclusively for Nintendo 3DS. The story involves a book in a wizard study that is illustrated with pictures of fantastic worlds. The wizards decide to bring them to life using the magic of the gentle rainbow spirits. However, another substance on the potion shelf, Goop, sees this magic and is envious of the Rainbow Spirit's power of life. So Goop invades the book and traps the Rainbow Spirit, slowly draining their power for itself. Your challenge is to rescue the Rainbow Spirit and rid the world of the Goop. You do this by tilting and rotating your Nintendo 3DS and guiding a mass of powerful water through the world. The water will gain different abilities through the game. And later on, you can also harness the powers of ice and steam. Hydroventure Spin Cycle will be out in December this year. We showed Nano Assault Neo for Wii U in the last Nintendo Direct, where now we are going to look at the Nintendo 3DS version of the game called Nano Assault EX, and available from Nintendo eShop this year. Mankind is no stranger to war. But this time, the battle is on a scale unlike anything you've seen before. Unleash your firepower in a microscopic world teeming with deadly viruses. 
maneuver your hyperspeed ship through infected 3D levels. Blast enemies with specialized weapons. Stop the deadly virus before it destroys us all. Another downloadable title coming this year to Europe is a Denpa Man They Came by Wave. This is a role-playing game in which you use your Nintendo 3DS to catch Denpa Men from many different places. Denpa Men can't be seen with a naked eye, but they float around the radio wave in your daily lives. After you capture them, you then go on a journey to rescue a certain special someone from the king of evil. Denpa Men can be found around you in all kinds of places. They come in a wide range of shapes and colors. There is an almost limitless number of different types. They each have their own territory, so if another player goes to the same place, they will be able to catch the same Denpa men as you. Some of them have antenna growing from their heads. These Denpa men each have a special skill they can perform. There are lots of different skills, including some very rare ones. There are sure to be lots of Denpa men floating around near you, so keep your eyes open. You know Level 5 already, as a company behind the Professor Layton and Inazuma Eleven games. The latest game in the Layton series, Professor Layton and the Miracle Mask, will be launched on October 26 for Nintendo 3DS and Nintendo 3DS XL. In this game, Rayton, Luke, and Emmy will solve the mysteries behind the strange character called the Masked Gentleman, and will even travel back to Rayton's youth to do this. But now I'd like to show you something new. To do this, I'd like to introduce the president and CEO of Level 5, Akihiro Hino, who has a special message for us. レベル5の日野です。今日は任天堂ダイレクトという場を借りて、レベル5初の海外パブリッシングタイトルをご紹介させていただきます。須田豪一さんのリベレーションメイデン、斉藤豊さんのエアロポーター、松野康美さんのクリムゾーンシュラウド、これらの3タイトルを任天堂 3DS ダウンロードソフトとして、皆様にお届けすることを本日発表させていただきます。これらのタイトルは、レベル5と著名なゲームクリエイターとの共同制作による全く新しい試みのゲームです。皆様にできる限り早く遊んでいただけるよう、この3タイトルは今年の10月、11月、12月と3ヶ月連続で配信する予定です。ぜひご期待ください。Thank you, Mr. Hino. It's great news that we have three new downloadable games for Nintendo 3DS, three months in a row from Level 5. The first of the three Liberation Maiden is a collaboration between Level 5 and the Suda51 of Grasshopper Manufacturer, 
and will become available for purchase immediately following this presentation. As you know, we recently started making selected Nintendo 3DS package games available as downloads from Nintendo eShop. The first titles were New Super Mario Bros. 2, New Art Academy, and Freaky Form Deluxe. Well, now I can let you know about some more titles that will be made available to download right after this presentation. These are Super Mario 3D Run, Mario Kart 7, The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, and Star Fox 64 3D. We will be adding even more titles to the selection very soon. And don't forget that for these games, you will receive an extra 250 Club Nintendo stars for the downloadable version, giving you a total of 500 stars per game. It's time now to turn our attention to some new retailer titles from other publishers. Nintendo 3DS has already enjoyed fantastic support from a whole range of developers, and the next few months are no different. Let's look at a game coming to Nintendo 3DS that is the latest in a long-running RPG series dating back to 1987, published by Ghost Light. Shin Megami Tensei Devil Survivor Overclocked is a tense ordeal that gives you just seven days to save Tokyo, save your friends, and save yourself. It's an enhanced version of Shin Megami Tensei Devil Survivor, featuring an expanded storyline and more demons to fight. Let's take a look at the trailer. There's a lot of strange stuff going on. Let's do whatever we can to find a way out of this lockdown. Ah! Don't come any closer! Help! Atsuru! Yuzu! Oh, damn it! We're coming! That demon killed someone! We have to run! Now! You've got to get them before they get you! You have to fight! There are still demons. I have to concentrate until it's over. Fighting demons isn't a game. If we lose, we die. The planet will be set aflame in a war the scale of which has never been seen before. Do not turn away from what is about to happen now. So you're saying that we have to get demons so we can fight even more demons? We'll have to use this auction and do everything we can to help us fight. First the auction, and now fusion? What's this about changing to another demon? You have to create strong demons or you won't be able to stay alive. He has answered your sin with mercy and given you seven days of reprieve. We control our own destiny. We'll defeat that thing. Shin Megami Tensei Devil Survivor Overclocked will be available this year on Nintendo 3DS and Nintendo 3DS XL. From seven days in the last game to seven competitors in a game of life, or death in another title. Virtue's Last Reward is the second game in the Zero Escape series, following the acclaimed 999, nine hours, nine persons, nine doors. Published by Rising Star, this adventure game challenges you to escape a sinister warehouse. But who can you trust to help you survive?
Virtue's last reward will be available in shops in Europe in November this year. In our last Nintendo Direct, we introduced Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate, which is coming to the Wii U. Now I want to talk to you some more about its Nintendo 3DS counterparts, which will come out in Europe around the same time. The Monster Hunter games allow you to create your own customized hunters with whom you can undertake quests set in open world settings. Battles are action based. They require skill, but also careful strategy, as each monster has a unique weak spot to exploit if you want to succeed. The variety of environment and monsters is huge, and with each monster you defeat, your hunter gains rank and items. With these items, they can craft new weapons and armor that allows them to confront even more powerful foes. Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate offers new locations, monsters, weapon types, and equipment sets. It will also allow up to four players in the same room to help each other out in epic battles using a Nintendo 3DS network capabilities. A very special multiplayer feature that I want to mention is that up to three Nintendo 3DS systems will be able to connect locally to the Wii U version of the game. Finally, another unique feature in Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate is that player will be able to transfer save data from the Wii U version of Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate. This means you can play the same save game on your home console or take it on the go with Nintendo 3DS. Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate for both Nintendo 3DS and Wii U will be released in Europe in March 2013. Let's have a look now at the roundup of upcoming games for Nintendo 3DS and 3DS XL. Now for that Pokemon answer. Did you get it? I'd like to end on one other piece of Mario related news. I already mentioned the Pikachu Nintendo 3DS XL that will be on sale later this year, but we also have a hardware bundle to announce too. A white Nintendo 3DS XL and Mario Kart 7 bundle will be available in Europe from November 16th. Mario Kart 7 will already be pre-installed on the system, so if you are a fan of this game or the color, this might be the Nintendo 3DS XL for you. For now, I'd like to say thanks for watching this Nintendo Direct, and until next time, happy gaming.